So today I want to talk about the topic of health insurance here in Singapore. Specifically, I want to run you through three common considerations that most people will have when shopping for health insurance. Now for those who don't know what a health insurance is, it is an insurance that pays for a substantial portion of your hospital expenses so that you do not need to worry too much about the treatment costs, nor do you need to worry about depleting your savings just to pay for all your medical treatments. Right? So the first question that I got pretty often is, do you need a health insurance if you already have an existing company insurance? My answer to this is yes. Right? Let me explain. Now, when it comes to company insurance, you have to look at it from the perspective of an insurance company. Right? If today you are an insurance company that sells both company insurance and personal insurance, would you design your company insurance in a way that will cannibalize your personal insurance business? The answer is no. Right? That is why if you look at the fine prints of most company insurances, they are designed to complement your personal health insurance, but not replace them, right? That way, as an insurance company, I can sell both the company and personal insurance to maximize my returns. That is the perspective that insurance company will take when designing their products and services, right? So allow me to elaborate further on this point itself, right? Now in Singapore, there are two scenarios that will lead you to seek for hospital treatment. The first is if you realize that something is wrong with your body and then you visit the GP which then recommends you to see a specialist which eventually recommends that you undergo a treatment in the hospital, right? The second is in an event of an accident or emergency purposes or e scenario where you are sent directly to the hospital via an ambulance, right? And the treatment needs to be done as soon as possible. To generalize, under these two circumstances, the company insurance here in Singapore are designed to provide comprehensive coverage for anything before you are hospitalized. Your personal insurance is designed to provide comprehensive coverage for any treatment that you undergo when you are hospitalized, right? So that's how insurance companies would design their company and personal insurance so that they can sell both this insurance to you without cannibalizing their own revenue, right? Now, even if your company insurance is, for some reason, you know, comprehensive and it could replace your personal insurance, I would still recommend that you consider getting your own personal insurance because what will happen to you if you retire or if you change company, right? What will happen to your existing health insurance coverage? You don't want to land yourself in a position where you are reliant on the company or the government for your medical treatment. Right? The second question that most people will ask me is if they could get their health insurance later instead of now. Now the answer is of course yes, you can do it. But you have to be aware of the risk that is associated with such a decision. Right? When it comes to insurance, especially health insurance, you are buying it with your health. And that's the irony, right? When you are healthy and you don't need that coverage, you can get as much insurance coverage as you want to. But in an event where you are not healthy and you need that insurance coverage, chances are nobody will want to insure you. Right? Having said that, it will be best for you to lock in your insurability while you are still healthy instead of taking the risk of becoming uninsurable in the future just to save a couple of hundred dollars a year. Right? The third question that I receive is, does it matter which company I choose from or which company you choose your hospital insurance from? The answer is yes, right? While the key benefits such as inpatient treatment or catastrophic outpatient treatment are identical across all the seven insurance companies that's doing hospital insurance in Singapore, there is a difference when it comes to things like pricing, the claim-based penalty, as well as your miscellaneous benefits. Now, I will not go into detail with regards to which company has what benefits or penalties, but in general, when it comes to pricing, sometimes the price difference between companies can go from 20% to even 100% a year, meaning to say that you can be paying for twice the amount that you would have been paying 
if you had done your homework, right? Now, certain companies also have in place certain penalties when it comes to private hospital claims, while other companies do not. These penalties can come in a form of higher premium next year or additional deductible that you would have to pay in your next hospital visits. Meaning to say that you can be paying for something that penalizes you from claiming if you are not careful. Now, when it comes to miscellaneous benefit, we are referring to things like your ambulance charge, your outpatient treatment for injuries, food poisoning, discounted rates for visiting panel general practitioners or specialists and etc. Now, some companies may have it, while some companies may not. And of course, all of this factor will affect the overall pricing as well, right? Now, all in all, these are the three considerations that most of my clients had when it comes to their own health insurance. At the end of the day, having your own personal health insurance is a must because you do not wish to be at the mercy of your employer or the government when it comes to your own future hospital treatment. Also, try to get it as soon as possible to lock in your insurability and always do your homework so that you can find the most suitable product at the best possible price rather than running the risk of buying a non-competitive or even worse, non-suitable product. Right. So that's all I have for the video today. If you'd like to find out how you could benefit by working with an independent financial advisor and a certified financial planner, you can reach out to me via my website. Do connect with me on the following social media platform as well to stay updated with future content and you can always slide into my DMs anytime when you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Now all of the links will be in the description below, so yeah, hope to connect with you all soon.